Welcome to The Practice, a midweek reset for your soul, where we're taking some intentional space to be with Jesus and to be open to his transforming work in our lives. Each week, we will explore one of the five rhythms of a missionary disciple, and then we'll take some space to practice that rhythm together. Our hope and our prayer is that this time truly does become a midweek reset for your soul and helps you experience life with God in a deeper way. Today, we're going to explore the rhythm of worship together, and we're going to do that through a practice called joy journaling. Now, before you check out on me and think I'm not going to journal and I don't need to joy journal, let me try and convince you why I think this is such a critical discipline in this season that we find ourselves in. I don't know about you, but every time I sit with the Lord, I find that my mind is racing and I'm actually almost physically jumpy. And so the last couple of weeks, I have been employing a discipline called joy journaling, where I sit down and I reflect over the last 24 hours, I choose a moment that brought joy in some way, even in the midst of the hard and the crazy. And I then take just a few minutes to journal about that joy moment. And then I praise God for it. Then I open his word and I find that my heart, my mind, my body even are much more prepared to receive what he has for me in his word. Now, I am not the only one that thinks this is a good idea. It is not actually something I've come up with. In fact, Paul tells us in Philippians chapter four, verse eight, he says this, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Now, keep in mind, Paul wrote Philippians from prison, and he's telling us that we need to think about, we need to meditate on the things that are true and lovely and right and joyful in our lives. And Paul is not the only one that says that either. In fact, Science supports this assertion from Paul. There's a whole field of psychology called positive psychology that basically tells us when we think about joyful things in our lives, we actually rewire the neurotransmitters in our brain to look at the world a little bit more optimistically. I think what's actually happening is we start to see where God is moving in our lives. And so I wanna encourage you to try this practice of joy journaling. We're gonna try it right now, but I wanna encourage you to try it every day this week and see what happens. It literally will take you two to three minutes a day right before you start to read God's word. So let's do it right now. Hopefully you have a pen and a journal handy. Um, and so what I want you to do is just take a moment and we're just gonna close our eyes and think through the last 24 hours and land on one moment no matter how crazy and chaotic your last 24 hours were, that brought joy. So do that now. Okay, so hopefully you thought of something as you scrolled through the last 24 hours of your life that was a joy moment. And now what I wanna encourage you to is just write the word joy at the top of the page and we're just gonna spend a few minutes writing about that experience. And so let's do that now. We'll just take a few minutes, just jot a few lines down about what was it like? What was happening? What did it feel like? What was going on around you? What made it feel joyful? Thank you. 
Okay, well, hopefully you got a few sentences out about what made that moment joyful. So now I wanna encourage you just to spend a minute praising God for this one moment in your last 24 hours that brought joy. And then I'll close this in prayer in just a minute. So go ahead and just spend some time praising God for that. So Lord, we praise you that even in the midst of this season of uncertainty, of us not knowing what tomorrow holds, that, that in these days, even in the really, really hard ones, there are moments of joy to be found and that those moments of joy actually help us see you more clearly. So whether it's the sunshine or laughter or just a sweet conversation, or even the taste of food that we've had a thousand times, but somehow tasted sweeter today. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you are providing for us and that just as you hold today, you also hold tomorrow. Help us to trust you more each day and help us to find joy in these moments, to reset our heart and our mind on you and to do what Paul says, to think about these things. We praise you, Lord, and we love you. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed our brief time of joy journaling this morning. I really do want to encourage you to try that each day this week before you sit with the Lord in the morning and just do 24 hours. I know sometimes it can be tempting to go into a bigger space, but the Lord does show us joy in each of our days and we need to be disciplined to see it and to praise him for it. So I hope you have a great day and next week, join us back here for the practice where Sissy's gonna be talking to us about prayer. Have a great week.